Hey you guys, welcome back to our Thin Lines. Brian here, and I have somewhat of a treat for you today. I got a hell of a deal on 12 of these UHF XTS Model 3s. Now, these radios just came in about 20, 30 minutes ago. I just unpackaged them, and they all came with these, the adapters. So I got 12 adapters, 12 Model 3 radios, and they're all in pretty good shape. You know, obviously the housings will have to be redone due to customer demand, um, depending on what their preference is, whether they want black or yellow, but these all work. According to the listing from the fellow I got them from, so we'll go ahead and we'll power these on together and we'll go through them and make sure that they work. So if they do, you can share in my happiness and if not, my utter dismay and self-loathing so far so good these must have been on a trunk system yeah these I assume yeah yeah these must have been for a military trunked radio system of some kind um because the U.S. military, specifically the U.S. Army, they utilize a UHF trunked radio system that's under 400 megahertz. And besides that, the... These are moving a little bit slow. Hmm, quite interesting. But yeah, once I do the firmware and the flash code upgrades, these things should mosey along just fine. Come on, get out of here, cat. Yes, my radio shop has a cat that we have affectionately adopted. So yeah, we'll just go through these and make sure that they work okay. Yep, channel two Lima. One hotel. So yeah, guys, I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know up here in New Jersey, I had a wonderful weekend. I got a lot of yard work done for the most part. I was able to put in some uh, some azaleas, some daisies up in the uh, front of the house. I put up a nice little retaining wall and a new stone walkway. And I also was able to cut the grass. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to fit all this stuff in here. Let's go back. Oh yeah, wrong zone. There we go. Yes, I know, I know. You're sad, I know. But yeah, everyone, I got one hell of a deal on these radios. Um, my intention is to, again, make sure that these are optimized with a kick-ass flash code of some kind. Um, most likely I'm going to have these upgraded to full FPP capabilities, uh, MDC 1200 signaling, depending on who the customer is and, you know, who, um, what their need or needs are. Let's see here. Oh, this is weird. This is on different channel. Hmm. Let's go through this real quick. Huh. Oh, okay. This one must be a different radio. Oh man, there you know there are pellets all over the floor. I hate sometimes when I come into the shop and I know that the guys have been messing around because I'll see like little pellets all over the place, and I'm just waiting for one day someone to have a bad shot and take out an LCD on a radio. But it's all right. We have fun, you know. 
gotta have fun in life. But yeah, like I was saying, I hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, hopefully this video finds everyone well. I'm taking a look at the model numbers here also, and they all seem to match pretty well. Let's go to this. Go to zone alpha. Yes, I know, I know. More sadness. Yeah, LCDs look good. Yeah, you know, I was uh, I was thinking some of these I can do in coyote tan, uh, fire yellow, or maybe I can even keep some of these in their um, their original housings. The housings, again, they really don't look too bad. No, except for this one, I don't like the the scuffs and scratches. But this was one hell of a deal. I am going to sell these. I'm going to make custom um, flash codes and uh, radio packages for for these before they hit my store. Um, I'm probably going to sell these on eBay. Individually, I will do the option to make a bulk purchase with a six slot gang charger uh, they will come with batteries belt clip uh, side adapter that just affixes itself to the back of the radio and of course they will come with oem motorola dust covers the heavy duty dust covers uh, the antennas i'm not too sure if i'm going to include those with the sale just because there's money in accessories so bear in mind I do quality work here in the shop my prices are not going to be low they will be fair but they're not going to be low I mean if you want a low price you got to go on eBay and take your luck with some guy you don't know on eBay, someone you don't like. I like how everyone does this while I'm... Yeah, go on, go on, keep, keep going. It's fine, I'm not busy. Jackass. So, uh, pricing. I mean, I got a good deal on these, so I'm not gonna... I'm probably gonna let these go for maybe 300 apiece as a, as a package. You know, you'll get the uh, microphone uh, either an Exacore or an OEM Motorola light duty um, microphone the complete rehousing it'll have the OEM Motorola keypad the membrane the housing I don't know if that's going to be OEM Motorola so that's why my prices are not going to top 350 400 because it's just not legitimate um, but the housings, like I said in my last video, are really nice. They do come out per very nice. In fact, for those of you who haven't had a chance to look, this is an aftermarket housing. My guys here at the shop, they do wonderful installs with these. Let me cover up that serial number before I give away a free radio. This one had seen... Very light duty. Again, some jackass, you know, decided to be special and put their name on the radio. But that's okay. This isn't a, this is a ruggedized radio. But I took this out to work a few days ago, and it works really nice. The only thing I want to do is I want to see if I can color in this recessed spot right here, where it indicates the the volume level I want to color that black so you can it'll contour well to the radio and you also the operator will understand what that little recession is for but I mean yeah like I said one hell of a deal on these uh, all the LCDs are in good condition I'm gonna have these bench tested they were 
I don't want to say supposedly because I don't want to knock anyone should the seller see my video, but I have to have security that these were properly put on an Aero, um, an Aeroflex and that they transmit and receive okay. Um, I also got to take them apart, look on the inside and make sure that no, there were no swapping of parts. Um, and just to make sure that, you know, I myself would use a radio like this. Because again, a lot of the people that watch these videos are in law enforcement, security, um, fire, EMS, OEM, you know. So, bottom line, I got a lot of work to do on these. But I wanted to share this with you guys. You know, I was very, very, very happy about this sale. You know, it was, or excuse me, this purchase. It was uh, really like a once-in-a-lifetime deal. I was able to talk the guy down a couple hundred bucks. And I got it for a hell of a price. So... With that being said, everyone, like I said in the video previously, oh my God, will you? do you mind? I hope everyone's doing well. Um, while you should be getting your mic, I want to say by the end of this week. I know I shipped it out. My post office has been just utterly abysmal. But that mic is on its way to you. So hang in there. I'm going to see if I can put the tracking number out to you soon. And everyone, as always, if you're in the public safety sector, stay safe, watch your six, and watch each, other, each other's back. And stay positive, you know. The weekend, the holiday weekend's coming up. Good time for us to be back with our families, you know, especially with the pandemic going on. So I will, of course, keep everyone updated with all the progress that I will be making on these very soon. And with that being said... Later on, everyone, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz, and put comments in the comments section below. So I know that you guys are actually watching these and that, you know, you want to see more. All right. Take care. See you soon.